Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 guide and today I'm going to show you how to farm fusion cores very easily and very quickly. Stay tuned. Alright, so if you are in endgame or if you have done most of the missions in game, you will probably be running out of fusion cores very quickly. After all, using the power armor is quite often and there are not that many places to farm fusion cores. Besides that, most of the guides out there are quite outdated and they don't really work anymore. So I'm going to show you a very reliable and quick method to farm fusion cores. All you have to do is farm a little bit of materials. All you really need is this list of materials, which is what you need to craft a generator fusion. And that can be a little bit, I know, but you can farm infinitely fusion cores like this. So trust me, it is worth it. I would recommend you to head to the Watauga region to farm any missing materials, especially aluminium. I think it's the hardest one to get. And before you ask me where can you get a fusion generator plan, well, you have to do at least one event of the powering up um, any of the three power plants in game. You can choose any, go there, do the event to power up and one of the rewards would be a fusion generator so it's random and you might need to do it more than once but that's how you get it so back to the farming uh, by killing robux you can easily get uh, aluminium and other materials keep an eye for items that have screws and gears You will also need copper, crystal, nuclear materials, and rubber. These are pretty easy to get in my opinion, but if you are lacking them or if you don't know how to farm them, then check uh, Wikipedia or Gamepedia and you will easily understand how to get them. So the only thing that I think is difficult to get is aluminium because you need it for basically repairing every weapon and every armor at least in end game so it's a bit difficult to stack aluminium and this is a very good place to do it especially ahead so robots don't always drop it they drop steel and lead and i mean lead sorry and sometimes they will drop aluminium and that's not too great but if you go ahead here you'll find at least three assaultrons and they always drop aluminium and that's excellent if you need any of the other materials then you might want to head inside the buildings such as the Watauga High School or the Watauga uh, Emergency Center or even the civic center and search for uh, the materials you are missing. So this is a very rich area to farm materials. And once you are done farming, you have everything you need for the fusion generator. You can choose one of the power plants and head to the workshop there because you will have to claim it. So it doesn't really matter which one you choose. There are three. There are uh, there is the Poseidon, there is this one, the Thunder, and then there is the Monogat, which I personally prefer because it's in the middle of the map and it's closer to my base. But you can pick any of them. It's fine because they all generate fusion cores. Now all you have to do is head uh, towards the workshop and then the event will pop up and you will have to clean the place from hostile forces there are generally a very few enemies around you have to kill them and then you can claim or contest the workshop you need to pay a few coins 
and then wait a little until the workshop is yours. Then you'll be able to uh, craft like defenses and you'll be able to power up this fusion core generated right here. And now that's where you're gonna need all the materials you farmed for. So you want to put a fusion generator right here close to the fusion core uh, producer. You put it close and then you need to wire it up so there's power and you will notice that it will be working. And now you don't have to do much, you just have to put some defenses to ensure enemies won't damage or destroy your structures. And get ready for the first attack because right after you conquer a workshop, there's uh, like an attack from the NPCs. Usually it's 2-3 uh, minutes after you do this. So I decided to place a few turrets, but you don't have to. You can perfectly defend alone without turrets. You just need to be quick and aware of your surroundings and you should be fine. And there you go. The quest to defend your workshop has begun. And now you just have to wait for the attack and then you get more rewards for doing it. So it's pretty nice the way they have structured this because you get some rewards for um, owning the workshop and then for defending it. You can also repair your workshop structures if you wish. I have a lot of materials to spare, so I don't mind repairing and, you know, building here and there. And as you can see, there is more resources to explore if you want. And you can see which materials you can get here or which producers you can actually craft. You just have to go to the map and um, click over the workshop. And there you go, I have robots as the offenders, but I can pretty much one hit them. And they drop some nice steel. And if you are doing here in Motorgad, they will usually spawn up there as well. Like sometimes they spawn there. This time I was lucky, they all spawn down here. So I did not have to go up there to kill whatever is left. And the event is complete. I defended my workshop and I got my rewards and my structures are safely guarded. That's great. Now you need to wait around five minutes for the first fusion core to be generated. And it took me around two minutes to defend, so I had to wait another three until the fusion core was actually ready. But that's how it is. And something I found out is that fusion cores can take up to 10 minutes to be generated by these processors. And it's quite random, so the first one usually takes five minutes and the next one's... If you're lucky, it's again five minutes, but it can take up to 10 minutes, at least in my experience. I have done this multiple times and every single time it has been like this. The first fusion core is five minutes and the rest is from five to 10. So keep that in mind. So after you get your first fusion core, now it's very important to pick it up because they don't stack. So if you don't pick your fusion core, you are basically losing time because it won't generate any other fusion cores if you don't pick this one up. Now, during this next five to 10 minutes, you can go explore the area. You can simply teleport and go farm somewhere else, or you can do this. You can go to the surrounding areas here 
there are some camps and you can basically look for things that are useful to you like gears a better clipboards for example there are plenty of typewriters around as well and they are always welcome at least in my stash because when you transform the junk they drop some nice things you can also find this military ammo pack for a ballistic fiber which is very very useful to repair your armor not the power armor just a normal one so yeah you can just go around this area or you can even go inside the power plant and there's even more to loot you don't really have to go anywhere else while farming for your fusion course but this is totally up to you now when you are close to five minutes away from the workshop then start going back because your fusion core might as well be ready already and you are not there to pick it up so make sure to make your priorities right if you are farming or in need of fusion cores then that should be your priority and a farming is just secondary here it, you are just trying to make the best you can out of your time and as you can see i came too early my fusion core was not ready yet but after a minute or two it came there you go and that's my second one and then I had to wait around 10 minutes. I was actually L tabbed, but it took around 10 minutes. And as you can see, the weather simply changed from day to night. So, you know, it was quite some minutes. And then the third one came. And that's how you can farm fusion cores easily and quickly. And this is my strategy to make sure I can always use my power armor anytime I want, as much as I want. I hope you have enjoyed this guide. If so, don't forget to subscribe and to leave a comment down below. I am Arthur Branco, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye! Wow.